Good morning everyone, it's great to have you join with us for another V Kids Sunday and it's great to have you with us if you're in person and it's great to have you join with us online as well. And you know today we're learning all about how we were made in the image of God. You all were and I was as well and that's what we're going to be learning about. But first of all we are going to go to our Amanda V Fiona challenge and find out what the challenge is for today. Hello V Kids, welcome to week two of Amanda versus Fiona. Now, today we're doing a challenge called Bean Boozled. Now, in this challenge, we have a variety of different jelly beans and they look all the same. So you can see here, there's blue ones, there's pink ones, green ones. The difference is one of these jelly beans tastes really good, like a juicy pear or a strawberry banana smoothie and one of them tastes really bad, like, uh, let's see, what is this one? Dirty dishwater or an old bandage. Oh. So, in this challenge, we're gonna taste each jelly bean, and the person who gets the most bad tasting jelly beans is the loser, and gets a pie in the face. Oh no. Uh, so, I'm actually more scared about tasting the flavors than a pie in the face, but please still say a prayer for me, V-Kids, that I do not taste the most amount of jelly beans. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> okay, are you ready, Fiona? Okay, where should we start? As ready as we're gonna be. You choose. Um, let's go with this okay. one. Okay, this one is Stinky Socks oh. or Tutti Frutti. Oh, please, Tutti Frutti. Ready? Tutti Frutti. <laughs> you got a stinky sauce. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to spit it. Ooh, that, that was good. Okay. That was not good. <laughs> okay, Fiona, this is either booger or juicy pear. Please, pear. <laughs> juicy pear. Juicy pear. Oh, wait, that was no. Good. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was deceitful! It was like... It start, oh. started off well. It started off well. Okay. This one. Actually, oh. I don't mind either of these. Toothpaste or blueberry. I think this is going to be the easiest yeah. one. Yeah. Because I would like some toothpaste after that booger. Mm. Oh. Okay. Okay. Toothpaste. Berry. Okay. I don't mind it, but I guess it's the losing flavor. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, no, I don't want to do this one. <laughs> no. Okay. One of these is liver and onions, and the other is cappuccino. <sighs> please, cappuccino, please. Okay. Oh. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> oh. That was that definitely, was terrible. definitely liver and onions. That was terrible. Okay. Oh, was so bad. I need another toothpaste to hold on. Oh no, this one. We've got rotten egg or buttered popcorn. No. Not just regular egg, rotten egg. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm really scared. Popcorn. I definitely got rotten egg. That's awful. Oh! I feel like your taste buds are a bit off. They are a bit off. Okay. I don't know. No, it was, it was rotten egg. Okay. That was horrible. Okay. <laughs> this one, we've got pomegranate mm. or old bandage. <sighs> Choose wisely. Okay. Bandage tastes like. It just like, like, def definitely tastes like old bandage. It did. That was awful. Oh, oh that was so I bad. Know, it's still there. Uh, take one of the minty toothpaste. 
Oh no. This is dirty dishwasher or birthday cake. That's just so mean. There's so this many. Is literally so mean. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh! Birthday cake. Oh! I'm scared, Fiona. This, I can't believe this is one. This is either peach. Yes. I'll or, take that one. Oh. Bath. No! Oh no, no. No. <laughs> no! I don't want After to. you. Peach. Not peach. I was, I'm sorry, that's that's mean. That's, that was a, that was that was the worst one. That's definitely the worst one. I've actually got tears in my eyes. It's fine. Oh no! We've got either strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. Oh no! 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 <laughs> no! That was so bad. That was so bad. I don't know if it, what was worth the bar for the dead fish. Oh, I need another toothpaste. That was so bad. I knew immediately. That, that was awful. That was really bad. That was terrible. Okay, this is our last, last one. one. What have we got, Amanda? Okay, this is either stink bug or toasted marshmallow. Come on, marshmallow. 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 Well, that means. Dang! <laughs> no! That is the loser, which means that I get to put a pie in Amanda's face. Oh my All right. goodness. Can we have the pie? I think I need to tie my hair back for this. Are you ready? That just seems like a <laughs> rotten deal. Awful taste and a pie in the face. Not One, fair. Two, three. I still think that uh, stink bug was worse though <laughs> than the pie. Well, we've got clean up crew. <laughs> I think it's time to go to Granny Page Center for our story. <laughs> but we'll see you next time on our challenge, Amanda v Fiona. <gasps>
and whatever he said, it happened. God said, Hello, light, and light shone into the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness night. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, Hello, sea, hello, sky, and a great space opened up, wide and deep and high. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, Hello, land, and there, splashing up through the oceans, came cliffs, mountains, sandy beaches. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello, trees, God said. Hello, grass and flowers and everything everywhere burst into life. He made buds bud, shoots shoot, flowers flower. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello, stars, God said. Hello, sun, hello, moon, and whizzing into the darkness came fiery globes spinning around and around, whirling orange and purple and golden planets. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello, birds, God said, and with a fluttering and flapping and chirping and singing, birds filled the skies. Hello, fish, God said, and with a Darting and dashing and wriggling and splashing, fish filled the seas. You're good, God said. And they were. Then God said, Hello, animals. And everyone came out to play. The earth was filled with noisy noises, growling and gobbling and snapping and snorting and happy scuffuffling. You're good, God said. And they were. God saw all that he had made, and he loved them. And they were lovely because he loved them. But God saved the best for last. From the beginning, God had a shining dream in his heart. He would make people to share his forever happiness. They would be his children and the world would be their perfect home. So God breathed life into Adam and Eve. When they opened their eyes, the first thing they ever saw was God's face. And when God saw them, he was like a new dad. <laughs> You look like me, he said. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever made. And God loved them with all his heart. And they were lovely because he loved them. And Adam and Eve joined in the song of the stars and the streams and the wind in the trees, the wonderful song of love to the one who made them. Their hearts were filled with happiness and nothing ever made them sad or lonely or sick or afraid. God looked at everything he had made. Perfect, he said. And it was. But all the stars and the mountains and oceans and galaxies and everything were nothing compared to how much God loved his children, he would move heaven and earth to be near them, always. Whatever happened, whatever it cost him, he would always love them. And so it was that the wonderful love story began. Well, Hamilton, I really enjoyed watching that story about how God made people and how he made us in his image. And now we're going to head over to Paris in France because I think Mademoiselle Patisserie Le Croissant has been making some gingerbread people and she's going to tell us a little bit more about being made in the image of God. So let's go over to France right now. Bonjour, mon 
bon petit pois, mademoiselle petit souris, les croissants here. Now I know that today you are all learning about how you are God's masterpiece. Now so I thought maybe we go and look at when we did the recipe for the gingerbread people about we were made in God's image. So we're going to revisit this recipe because it's so good and it reminds us that we are God's masterpiece made in his image. Okay, so you enjoy. I'll see you next time. Au revoir. Bonjour, mon petit pois, mademoiselle patisserie le croissant here. And I much really enjoyed that story about how we can become fishers of people. And you know how Jesus called Peter, who was a fisherman. He wasn't this spectacular, rich, clever person. He was just a normal person. And you know he was welcomed into God's family. Just as we are welcomed into God's family, we can be followers of Jesus. And you know that reminds me of a recipe to do with you now. If only I had my assistant, Mimi. Mimi! Mimi! Are you, are you there, Mimi? Where? Is she, is she, is she there? M Mimi! Oh! Mimi! There she is! Hello! It's so nice to have my assistant to chat with and help me with the recipe. Okay, so Mimi, we're going to be making some gingerbread people to remind us we are all in God's family together. So, let's all start with, may we have the flour please, Mimi? We're going to start with some flour. That's the flour right there. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then, we just very carefully, you know how I like to be so careful, we're going to put the flour in. There we go. There we go. The flour. Perfecto. Okay, Mommy, may we next please have the eggs? Thank you. We have the eggs. Thank you, Mommy. Perfect. So we're going to be mixing up the eggs with the flour. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you so much. So delicate. Thank you very much. And then obviously we put the eggs in. Okay. Oh, there it goes. So we have one egg. I think we need the other egg, please, Mommy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, I take that from you. Two eggs. Oh, oh, oh dear. There it goes. There we have the eggs. All right. So the next thing we need, mommy, we need the sugar. Do we have some sugar over there? We have the sugar. Perfect. Just a little bit of sugar to make it a little bit sweet. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit of the sugar in there. Perfect. Okay. And you can see I stir it all up. But we need to make it into a nice dough. So you know what we need, mommy? We need some milk. Do we have some milk? Lovely. We have some milk. Thank you so much. You did that so well. Thank you. Okay. Okay. There's some milk in there. And then we just mix it all together. But you know what, B kids? And you know what, mommy? We're making gingerbread people. So I think we need to put some, some clothes in there for the people. Don't you think? So they got some nice clothes. Should we add some clothes into the mixture? What do we have there, Miami? Some nice clothes? <gasps> some sunglasses. Very important in the sunny weather. Yes, put them in. What else do we have? Some other, some nice hair. Beautiful. Yes, put that in. Mix it all together. Yes, that's lovely. Oh, lovely accessories. We love the accessories. Okay, a beautiful frock. Okay. Do we have a nice hat? Oh, we love to have a hat, don't we, Mimi? We love hats. Pop that in. Okay, mix it all together. And you know, in our story, like I was saying, we know we all belong in God's family, whoever we are. We might not think we're perfect. We might not think we deserve it. But we do. God made us in his image, you know? So we might feel like we look a little bit like a mess like this, but you know, God made us in his image. So now I'm going to put this on the tree. We have the head, the body. Okay, the head, the body, and the legs. Don't forget the legs. There we go. The heads and the body and the legs. You know, it looks a bit of a mess, but sometimes we might feel like we're a bit of a mess and maybe we don't think we belong in God's family, but we do. All right, so. We now put this in the oven, okay, so put this in the oven, and then, let's see how it turns out. <gasps> Et voila! You know, we are all part 
part of God's family. He made us in his image and he calls us to be in his family. Isn't that such good news, mommy? Yes, maybe you can make this at home. Okay, until next time. Au revoir, mon petit pois. Well, didn't those gingerbread people look delicious? Well, now it's time to go over to Hamilton's house for the memory verse, so let's see what the verse is for today. Are you there, Hamilton? Hello, V Kids. It's memory verse time, and we're going to be learning the same verse over the next three weeks. And it's Psalm 139, verse 14. And it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Because remember, we're learning all about how we are made in God's image and we are his masterpiece. So I'll see you very soon. Bye. Thank you for sharing that verse with us, Hamilton. But now that must mean that it's time for our worship. So we better go over to Australia to see if Jenny's there for our worship warm up. Are you ready, everyone, for your warm up? Here we go. Over to you, Jenny. Hey guys, James Dogs a lot here, just out working on some really important choreography. Now we're going to be doing our worship song, we're doing our Creator God song, okay? So do you remember the actions? You do. Just to remind you, we've got our big arms in the chorus, haven't we? Yep, yeah, and then we do our big circle with our jazz hands, yes, love it. And then we do our celebration arms as well as we celebrate that God created the whole world, didn't he? And he created you and me. All right, but before we go into our worship, we're gonna do our warm up, and today we are gonna do our jogging because what is my name? Yes, Jenny jogs a lot, so we need to do some jogging. Okay, so we're gonna jog for 10 seconds. So is everyone ready? Here we go, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing, you guys. Let's all worship together. that swim and all the birds that fly we're made from your incredible imagination creator god we're singing to the creator god of all the world creator god we celebrate you we celebrate you that grows and all the leaves that fall Yeah. 
Well, we've come to the end of our VKids session for today and I hope that you've all really enjoyed learning about how we're all God's masterpiece and we were made in his image. And Hamilton, you know God made you perfectly as well. He made you exactly as he wanted hedgehogs to be. So I look forward to seeing you all next week and I'll see you very soon. Bye!